it's hard for me to teach you use two days to do the iron body this kind of training. I can't. Two days, it's not impossible. Yeah. So I just want you to know, when you take people punch, kick your body, it's not use your muscle, use your chi. Your body is bouncing, not tacky. This is tacky. Good. Good example, you call, yeah? You like this example. Hand up. Kick here, kick here. Body. Yeah, kick here. So kick. Kick. Yeah, kick. No, I'm tacky. Kick. Stronger, stronger. 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 Stronger, stronger. Stronger, stronger. 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 Stronger, stronger. Go, 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 go. So you, I don't want to take that bouncing. So my muscle didn't take it. I try to bounce around. So this reason when you practice, this is tech, so you can take it. But power is going inside. You can't. You have to use bouncing, bouncing. Shaolin Kung Fu with another martial art different. Shaolin Kung Fu first things make you fit, okay? They teach you five basic kicks, you know, straight kick, cross kick, these kind of kicks. Then teach you five stance work, teach you forms. Then it's nothing for fighting. They want to make your body change your muscle tendons, make your body suitable martial art. This reason, they have Qigong exercise. Qigong exercise change your inside muscle and tendons. And the Kung Fu, you see the outside the stretching, kicks, forms, they try to change your outside tendons. So when you do the sense together, internal and external together, this is Kung Fu. But people do separate. But when you, when you, when you think, uh, when you practice Yi Jin this kind of sense, you have to, you have to think, do you get benefit or not? Nobody can tell you because you need to ask yourself. You training, you training. You need to try to understand the movement. But most people just copy the movement. They don't exactly understand the movement. Okay. 
not showing people they practice, uh, not showing only practice forms. They practice Qigong forms, yeah, but they don't know Kung Fu, Kung Fu includes Qigong, uh, you know, internal and external together, and Kung Fu fighting. But a lot of people pay too much attention to the forms. I didn't mean forms not good. So when you do the forms, you have to find, uh, try to study inside the useful technique, useful movement. Then you take out, you practice the wah wah again. You know, then you make make your forms, uh, make you do the forms, make, make have meaning, not just for uh, beautiful. You want useful. A lot, lot of Shaolin people do the martial arts. Um, they don't try to make their body become a weapon. So they think, okay, boxing punch, you know, or karate kick, or tight kicks, it's not Shaolin. Doesn't matter. Shaolin people learn from anybody. But before the Shaolin martial arts, the monks in Shaolin Temple, they go to different cities to see famous uh, martial artists. They bring their best technique come to the temple. They, 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 they practice. Then after in the temple, they're creative. They make different forms. Forms, qigong, and the fighting. Yeah? The three it must be together. This is showing Kung Fu different. Someone say uh, Mu Tai is best. Someone say Taekwondo is best. Nothing best. Depends who practice. Yeah, someone say Kung Fu is rubbish. Depends who do the Kung Fu. Kung Fu not the rubbish. Maybe you are rubbish. Okay, anyway, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, don't let me catch you! I'm coming! I'm flying! Go! Go. Go.